What's up, everybody? Welcome to IGN Game Scoop. I'm your host, Damon Hatfield. Joining me this week is Justin Davis. Scoop. And Sam Claiborne. Hey, everybody. Oh, yeah. I should provide uh, room for applause. Wow. Thunderous applause for everybody. We're also joined by 100-ish super fans here in the IGN cafeteria. Give yourselves a round of yeah. applause. Thank you so much uh, for coming out and help us celebrate uh, the 500th episode. Thank of you this, for having us, Damon. Of this real dumb show that I started doing 12 years ago, right after I first started at IGN and moved out here from Chicago. Did someone tell you to do it? No, I wanted to do it. it was, but it's something I talked about with like David Adams and our news team at the time. Did you have to like, explain the word podcast to anybody? No. I, IGN had done one-off podcasts before, but they, ne they did not have a regular podcast. Were they like they four and a half minutes long? No, like they like I they were too long because like they that. tried to put like ten people on the podcast and they were <laughs> passing you? around a stick mic around the room. Do I remember right? You didn't host the very very first one. I already. think there's only one episode yeah. that I never hosted, and I think it was the very first one. Okay. Matt, maybe Matt Jones, uh, who's a super fan, right over here from Indiana, one of yeah. the, the longest running uh, Game Scoop super fans that I'm aware of, drove around with the license plate that said Scoop for many years. It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so maybe he can correct that. Maybe we wrong. should have 10 people on this podcast today. I think so, too. Well, we are going to have a bunch of more uh, people joining us up here on the stage in just a few moments. Uh, but first, just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to the people that are helping us put on this show today. People are staying late to help us do this on a Friday evening. CJ, Mark Medina, Alexio, Dan Parker. All Thank you guys. very much. And Andres. Andres. I said Andres. Alexio. He helped too. Alexio helped. Oh, Alexio. Yeah. Thank you, Andres. <laughs> Alexio's not, is Alexio here? I didn't see him. That's why yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, I also wanted to put a mystery to bed. There's been some controversy uh, bothering, surrounding GameScoop for, for too long now. And that's why I think now we're finally going to get a chance to put this to rest. And that's because we're joined by a mysterious figure in the room here today, someone that some people out there don't believe is real. What? It's true. Uh, and that person is Big Tony Styles. Big Styles. Tony Styles. Big Tony Styles. <laughs> Woo! Here in the flesh, it is not me writing in emails to my own show. <laughs> the Bard. The Bard himself. <laughs> The golden email creator. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. We also have to unveil something. Uh, to uh, sort of help celebrate this uh, momentous occasion, we've used this GameScoop logo for many years now, and uh, we thought it was maybe time for a refresh. Yeah, we're going to unveil. Is it going to happen live? We're going to unveil the <laughs> new logo to you right now. Mark Medina, roll that beautiful bean footage. What are the odds this goes smoothly? Oh. There you go. Yeah. I like it. Whoever did that just copied the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, when we saw the t-shirt, we were like, that's really good. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, so this, this here show has been uh, running for 12 years. We've been talking about video games for 12 years now. And Sam recently has been asking about what we were covering when GameScoop first started. That would have been June 2006. Uh, and I've dug up some screenshots of IGN back then. Nice. But I thought since we're going way, History. way, way back. I got the screenshots from the Wayback Machine. Uh, so since we're going way back, I thought we would uh, invite as our first guest our own personal Wayback Machine, <laughs> IGN co-founder, Per Schneider. Yeah. I thought you were going to say the oldest person in the room or something like that. No, no, no. Oh, the scoop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pear, I know you get nervous speaking in front of large audiences, so I got you a cool shh oh, to help goodness. calm your nerves. There you go. Uh, that's American. <laughs> it is American. <laughs> it's okay. It's a coach style. But it's, a, it's one of the better American cultures. Legally, you can only call it coach if your brewery has a direct view of the Cathedral of Cologne. Uh -huh. Are we going to get arrested? slide. Cheers. Hmm? We can see it from our, our window in here, so it's fine. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay, I, the, uh, the, 
the earliest day, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a screenshot of IGN from June 2006, mm -hmm. but we have July 7th, 2006, that so I think we can pull up here. Of course, this is, Slayer uh, was here? Yeah, so we were covering <laughs> Slayer. Wow. What? Slayer in Rated the studio, blood. and then pair with this spin Metroid Prime 3. What? Image. What year it just is says that? Images. Yes. <laughs> images. You guys Jeez. really knew how to write a headline back then. <laughs> Metroid Prime 3 is what I assume. Yeah, yeah, because there's Dark Samus in the background. Ah, okay. She's about this big. Yeah. I don't know if that entity is. Damn. Entity, but. Yeah. Look, there's the uh, predecessor to the podcast up in the corner. The round table, that's like a text podcast. RPG death. That's right. Uh, there's Call of Duty 3, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought there was something else. That seems to be Oh, Jack I love Black. this. Don't expect Half-Life 3. Yeah. Oh, oh no. You're right. Oh, man. We were right. <laughs> I remember that. It turns out the episodes are part three. That is such a cop-out. Solved. <laughs> uh, okay, and today is October 5th, uh, 2018. I thought it would be interesting to see uh, what we were covering on some other October 5th way back then. I was able to find October 5th, 2007, and wouldn't you know it, Mark, uh, Game Scoop episode 52 had just gone out. <laughs> One year before. One one episode. It had been week, 52 yeah weeks. yeah yeah about, yeah about that. Maybe we missed. Did you miss some weeks? Missed a couple Came over. In. Yeah, we missed a couple. Did you know about this? <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> look at look at that nav. Yeah. Do you think you have enough choices on the nav? <laughs> Engage is on there. Ooh. Mm. Just for this a little was a, wink of history. This was the IG and I remember. This is like for me when it These was old, really my yeah. formative years. These Even, old looks at IGN give me. Very warm feelings. Even I listened to Game Scoop back then yeah. as a not working hair person. Yeah. I like that even the bevels have bevels. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, sort of the biggest, the biggest trends that we've covered here at IGN and on Game Scoop over the 12 years that this show has been running. And I've gathered, I've gathered a, a list of things that I think are pretty significant. Mm -hmm. Feel free to chime in. 12 years, 2006 to, to now, uh, 2018. Paris, is there something like in particular that you think is like the biggest sort of sea change in the industry? The biggest, I mean, the biggest story, I think, on the, uh, if you go back through traffic reports, hmm. is probably when PSN went down. Do you remember really? that one? Well, and it was down for like two weeks or something, right? Or yeah. Was it, was it that long? It kept that story for two weeks. Are you serious? So, that was the biggest story? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. In terms of pure page views, I would believe that. Biggest really? single piece, for sure. Because people That's kept on crazy. going back going like, is it still down? And, it's okay now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's got to be like the rise of uh, like console online multiplayer. Like you had really yeah. Xbox Live and things like that taking off, and PSN yeah. taking off, Xbox Live Arcade taking off. Yeah. It was, so you had yes, yeah, you had uh, Xbox Live with the original Xbox, mm -hmm. but then it was really the the following console generation. Uh, where that really blew up, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Like the 360 yeah. was so, at that time, it yeah. was like every game is going to have a demo, and um, that, that, that online experience and infrastructure was pretty revolutionary at the time. Yeah, that was like the first console generation where uh, turning on your console, like booting it up, wasn't a lonely experience. Where, mm -hmm. Like now, all of a sudden, you see all of your friends are online and what they're playing, and you're getting all these ads for stuff you should buy. And I think at, oh, 2006 is what we're talking about. Yeah. I can't remember if that's the year the Wii came out or if it was out for It was that winter, there. the Wii and PS3. And that was the year, so if you think about it, that's the year Nintendo was like, we're not going to do the console war anymore, we're just yeah. going to go this way. And, they, yeah. and they've done that ever since. I mean, everything that happened though the DS and then the 3DS and then of course the Wii U and the Switch, like they've never gone back to just being like, we're going to make a console and make it like everybody else's. But the GameCube was that. Yeah. So and it's really changed since then. They've been keeping the coverage interesting, I think. And Nintendo always keeps things interesting. I think they yeah. really surprised us because at that point, the console race was all about trying to pull even with PC and surpass it all the time, right? It was all about yeah. making the most powerful hardware, making sure everything is connected. And then Nintendo basically said, hey, we're going to make the last system system again and charge more for it, but create different controllers for it, right? Remember and how offensive it was when people said that at the time? The two when, GameCubes taped together? They, <laughs> Everybody's they, like, Rrr! They didn't like that story, but when we first saw it, we, we saw the graphics of Wii Sports, and you're, you're expecting like this grand reveal of Link <laughs> swinging his sword against Ganondorf, and then it's like, 
Yeah. And I think a lot of people in games media thought they had gone crazy. Yeah. And then as you got closer to the launch, everybody went, oh, okay, this is going to be big. It's yeah. the same. I mean, it's the same today, right? Like 4K is the new video game standard, right? But I think the Steam stat is what, like 4% of people are playing on 4K displays. The other 96% aren't. And that's going to continue to change, right? Like a, particularly this Black Friday and Christmas, people will get TVs. But it takes a long, long time. And Nintendo... Yeah. Is one of the only companies to figure out, like, this is where people are now. Like, let's make a device for that, not where they're going to be in five years or ten years. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this show does predate both the Wii and the PS3, but I do think it's significant that for the lifetime of this show, the three main players in the console industry has yeah. remained unchanged. Right. Because yeah. previously, going back, uh, you would see like seismic shifts in the big players from generation to generation. But Apple took a slice of the, and, and phones in general took a slice of the handheld market. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. That is another huge thing that has developed over the past decade and changed, right? Like mobile gaming. And I don't know if it cut into console gaming, but it definitely, mobile gaming. Yeah. It definitely cut into Nintendo's yeah, handheld Nintendo's gaming handheld. territory. Yeah, for and sure. then definitely, I mean, the re-resurgence of the PC market, right? Yep. The PC market was slowing down. Yeah. People are talking about how the age of, of mobile games and, and, and consoles were here. And then you know, now you go back and you see how many people play PUBG or Fortnite on, on their PCs or League of Legends. So mm -hmm. Yeah. It came back with a vengeance. Yeah, remember Angry Birds? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was like, I mean, I think that's like the first big mobile game bona fide hit, I yeah. think, and it became a worldwide phenomenon. Mm -hmm. It was a real dumb, real dumb movie. That was a follow up. Yeah. It was good. And then sort of, what's sort of like closely tied to the rise of mobile gaming is the rise of casual gaming and free-to-play games and games as a service and all that stuff now sort of spilling over into the console space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny to see all this stuff sort of hailed as revolutionary. I got hired at IGN as the mobile games editor before yeah. I moved into a more general role. And all this stuff that's in console games now, like real-time timers and things like Assassin's Creed, where like this mission will complete in you know, 60 minutes real-time, for example. Um, or uh, appointment gaming, or daily quests, or uh, you know the free-to-play mechanics. Like that's all stuff that was really, really common in mobile for yeah. like a decade. Yeah. You know, and now it's taken that long to sort of bleed its way back into sort of more mainstream. Maybe mainstream is not the right word. Do you remember the detour? We, I mean, we had Facebook gaming for a while too, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's yeah. saying people are going to be playing games on Facebook forever, oh, and yeah. gone. Yeah, for sure. Switch. <laughs> those uh, I got those, you. those comic book movies got better. Comic book movies did get better, and I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say Until GameScoop weekend, was directly responsible for that, but you know, I'm just saying they got better as GameScoop yeah. went, went along. It was like the exact, yeah, yeah. it's a one-to-one -one match. Like, Pear, it's a pet peeve of yours that people accuse IGN of sort of like, oh, you're doing so much, you know, movie coverage now and television coverage now, but it's been how many years that that's like been a part 19 of? years? Since 1999, we've had movies coverage, yeah. But, so, but nerdy movies became the popular movies yeah. in that time, and mm -hmm. so that's why we all loved them and wanted to cover them. Oh, you said nerdy. I thought you said dirty movies, and I was Not like, dirty. what? <laughs> nerdy. Geeky <laughs> movies. <laughs> dirty, geeky movies. Those are still popular. What, like Porky's? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think when the show started, you could still just pay money for a game one time and get the whole game. Oh, remember yeah. that? Wasn't that nice? Yeah, it was really nice. Oh. Well, because remember the first DLC stuff was happening right then, which was the horse armor. Yeah. That was and horse people, armor. People flipped out. Everyone's so around. They were so mad, but now here we are, you know, 12 years later, and yeah. it's they want cosmetic DLC, right? Like, don't give me d any DLC that like affects yeah. the game or lets me power up faster. Yeah, right? the yep. same, like, same people one. only want horse armor and, now. And there were the calming voices from us too, saying, "Now, don't worry. Just because they can patch a game doesn't mean they will patch a game." <laughs> now you put a disc in, it's like 950 gigabytes left. <laughs> You have to, if you're a parent getting a game for your kid on Christmas, you have to like patch it ahead of time, otherwise Aww. Christmas is ruined. That's a really good idea, especially if PSN goes down. You gotta do it. <laughs> That's really smart. Take the disc out, put when, it in like, and like, as a parent it. myself, like, I have this much time to play video games in the evening, and I just, I just accept yeah, I mean, that like, the day I get a game, I'm well, not you gotta actually like, playing it. You gotta get it updating while you're eating dinner. That's what I do. I always do that. I pop the disc That's in, exactly what I do. the disc. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, during our watch, during the watch of the Omega Cops, we witnessed the rise and fall and the attempted and failed resurrection of music games. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'll come back oh again? Boy, Are yeah. we gonna? Is it? I think, or is this it? I think in some form, maybe with maybe in like VR. There's uh, yeah. opportunities there. You were VR is another thing. That's yeah, VR. That's another one. 
But I think that one, even though it didn't, it hasn't like exploded the way many people thought it would. I don't think it's like a flash in the pan mm -hmm. fad. I think it's going to stick around and yeah. it, it, it's going to be slow gaining adoption. But I think eventually we'll all be there. Anyone here have PSVR, Oculus, or Vive? Yeah. So you're it's getting there. Like yeah. Nine people. Ten percent. It's huge. I mean, that seems about right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what else? Oh yeah, motion controls. That was a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think. I've been playing a lot of Mario Party, and I was thinking, like, have they gotten better? And, like, the Switch Joy-Cons are good at motion control, and they have less stuff, like, tracking them, which is interesting. But does that make the games more fun? Not really. I mean, Mario Party, some of the motion mini games are really cool, and they probably wouldn't be as fun without the motion controls, like the ice shaving stuff and all of that. But, I mean, as a main hook for a game, it just got old so fast that I think everybody just got, got allergic to it, right? Yeah. Well, so that's what the Wii was all about with Nintendo. And then Sony and Microsoft totally copied it and had yeah. to come up with their own motion controls. And they were like, oh, this is, this is our life now. <laughs> Remember Wii music? Yeah. No. no. That, <laughs> did you like the DJ Hero games? I loved the DJ I, Hero games. I seem games. to remember reading that when I was yep. a fan. Those are really good yeah. and really impressive how they actually like... Uh, mashed up all those different songs. That was kind of right at the, the end of the era, right? Because yeah. that was before Rock Band 3 and everything. Yeah. Hmm. Rip. But it seems like that obsession with adding hardware is kind of over, right? I mean, uh, adding I don't hardware, know if some people may connect, collect like joy con or something. That now, but except that now consoles are iterative. Yeah. And uh, you got to buy a new console of the yeah. same, not a new console, just a, a new PlayStation 4 every couple of years. We also have Nintendo kind of splitting the difference with Labo a little bit, like giving you some weird one-off experiences without having to buy, you know, a $100 balance board or something like that. You know? Yeah, Labo didn't take off the way we thought it would, but that's a great example of, you know, mm -hmm. adding stuff. I think this is the right time to do that because nobody's buying these accessories. And Yeah, exactly. Uh, they did make another one, so, you know, they wouldn't have done that if it yeah, was a total true. flop, but it also wasn't like yeah. a runaway. Mm -hmm. it, and then Toys for Life appeared and disappeared Toys during the... Uh, Toys to Life. Toys to Life, yeah. yeah. But Amoeba yeah. store. Living toys. Did we come out at night? This is New Skylanders, right? Is that gone? Is it's gone. One? Well, yep. there's um, Starlink, the battle for Atlas. Starlink, this month? Yeah. 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 This month, yeah. But that's about it. Um, you have like 3,000 Amiibo. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> and I think finally, uh, the rise of indie gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, when IGN started, there wasn't even an indie game scene, really. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was sort of Xbox Live Arcade. Did you guys not use that term back then, too? I don't think we were talking about indie gaming yeah. back in 2005, I wonder, 2006. I feel like obviously indie games have been around a long time, but that as a label was like indie game the movie, right? Like really popularized yeah. that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's the, the, the gates have come down, the barriers to entry have come down. Now it's very possible for just about anyone to make a game and get it onto services. And that's why last year there were over 7,600 games released Ooh. just on Steam Jeez. alone. Yeah. And so there's a lot more games. We used to review every game that came out. Mm. Right? Even, yeah, even like Dora the Explorer. We reviewed everything and, yeah. because we could. Yeah. We wanted, you know, I think as, as you used to say, we wanted, if someone out there was searching for a, a review of this Dora the Explorer game, we wanted them to find the IGN review. But you, now we couldn't even do that if we wanted to. You know, the uh, funny yeah. side effect with that is that the kind of the review scores have gone up because a lot of publications will skip the bad games in favor of, you know, focusing on That's the true. good stuff. So yeah. we used to publish a lot more ones and twos and threes as reviews. Yeah, as like a critic, I, I actually miss writing uh, reviews of turkeys. It's really fun to write <laughs> negative reviews. And, you know, we uh, our reviewer didn't like Venom and we gave Venom a four or something. And uh, she wrote a great review and it was really fun yeah, to really write, fun. I'm sure, because it was really fun to read. And that started getting me thinking, like, we don't just have that opportunity very much because we try to review games that we think people are going to make a decision about. Yeah, and like we don't get that opportunity very often because there's so much at stake now with games. They're so expensive to make. There's just a lot of uh, layers in place in the AAA gaming industry to prevent that from happening, right? To, pre to prevent yeah. releasing a four. Also, just, THQ went away for a while. Yeah, exactly. So there's that. Rude. <laughs> I think like there's just not that many bad games, right? Like I didn't like. Let me give you an example. I didn't like Assassin's Creed Origins that much. Like I was just thought it was a little bland. I was a little bored. But like there's no denying that like the level of polish and care and attention to detail that went in that game. Like the floor for how bad like a big AAA game can be is like so much higher than it was when I started paying attention to games. Like yeah. it was a gamble, man. Like you used to buy games sometimes and they could just be horrible and it would like, you know, ruin Donkey your Kong 64. Or, yeah, ruin your birthday money. But now it's like you're guaranteed at least a certain level of polish and fun, even if it's not a game that's like 
you know, exactly what you were looking for. Yeah. All right, what do you think is the best-selling game of the past 12 years? And we're talking units oh sold, not uh, dollars, because we all know that GTA 5 is like the most profitable entertainment thing ever. When, uh, what do you we, think has sold the most copies? Minecraft. Wii Sports. It is, it is Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft, yeah. 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 That's right. But it's funny you mentioned Wii Sports. Uh, of the top 10, Nintendo does have six of the best-selling games of the top 10. Are they all on Wii? No, no, I guess there's some DS ones in there. No, I think no. they're all on Wii. Yeah, it's like Mario So it's Party. Minecraft, then GTA V. They're still up there That's in units crazy. sold. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Then Wii Sports. Of course, it was a pack-in with the Wii, but mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. then, then PUBG. Wow. That's how many copies that's, PUBG that's has sold. Congrats. And Damn. Fortnite is on here because it's not on here because it's Fortnite's free to play. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, I remember Very it high. never stopped. Then Wii Sports Resort. <laughs> new Super Mario Brothers. There's your DS game. Yeah. And then new Super Mario Brothers Wii. Yeah, wow. And then Skyrim. And then Wii Play. <laughs> that's the top 10. Oh, we played. It should not be there. It's easily Who the worst that? game on the list. <laughs> wow. It was packaged with a controller. That's how they sold it. Yep. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. got it for free with a Wiimote. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, Perry. <laughs> Over the past 12 years, what's been your favorite game that you've played? Uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um, good easy. I mean, it's pretty, pretty good video game. Wait yeah, a second. They just had that? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Pros. No, but when, uh, no, if you look back, there, there are obviously so many great games, yeah. you know, your GTAs and Red Deads and Last of Us and, the, you know, just, it's hard to pick one game, but, I, but this one, because I'm a, a lifelong Zelda fan and, you know, absolutely adore Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, but this game just kind of turned it on, uh, turned everything I knew about Zelda on its head, yeah. and so it felt very, very fresh and different to me. Yeah. That is an acceptable choice. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's perfect. Pear, thank you so much for joining us up here thank today, you. and thank you for continuing to steer the ship here thank at IGN after all these years. Thank you, thank you. Prost. Our next guest needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyway. Please welcome Brian Altano yeah. to the stage. Hi, Brian. So I'm supposed to go behind the stage, in front of the stage. <laughs> Hi, everyone. There are no rules. Ooh, it feels good to be up here. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. Happy Welcome birthday. Oh, uh, yeah, it is 500th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, would you like a beer? We have beer. Sure, yeah, let's do it. You want an IPA or a Kush? Whatever's closest to your arms. Okay. Do you have a mother brain in your shirt? What are these for? You. Don't spoil oh. it. Oh, no. I, you have like construction guys, equipment back here. Don't worry about that. It's expensive don't sound equipment. It's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, Brian. Uh, Dude, that shirt's awesome. Thank you. That shirt is really good. Yeah, it's made by a company called the Yeti, and they sell it for like a day so they don't get sued, mm. and uh, then it's gone. So people are always like, "Where'd you get your shirt?" And I'm like, "You, you missed it." Doesn't <laughs> matter. Here, bud. Um, Thank you. All right, let's. Uh, we're going to talk about some notable games that are having celebrating anniversaries this year along with GameScoop. And this is not an exhaustive list of video game anniversaries. It is filtered through the lens of what I think is interesting and cool. Well, it is your show. It Which is, is why we're all here. Yeah, that's true. Wait, are you going to the, like the fives and, and tens? We're, we're not going to skip the fives. Uh, we'll start with tens. Okay. We'll start with games turning 10 this year. Okay. 2008. So that would be 2008. So that would mean games like We Fit. Oh. <laughs> I played the hell out of that game. This, does anyone still have their Wii Fit balance board? Yeah, it's under my couch. What? Play. You guys know you can throw those out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone used it any time recently? Jared, Jared Petty is Ed, you Jared didn't didn't use it recently. Jared and my mom still uses hers every day. Together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was right there. I just had it. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, also turning 10 this year is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Mm -hmm. yeah. People like that one? That's this one they this like. game is better than the other one because the other one made me feel fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, GTA 4. Mm -hmm. It's a 2008 game. I feel like that one's not fond as fondly remembered as San Andreas for sure. And then, uh, Well, now that GTA there's GTA 5. 5, it's just like such a... Such a colossus. I don't know. Yeah. It's a bigger what, number. What do you guys think about GTA 4? Yeah? Okay. See, there's some fondness. 
Yeah, this is a little I was thinking of be, uh, being Nico Bellic for Halloween, by the way. <laughs> you totally could. Yeah. I don't know how many people would get it. They, no, they would just be like, that guy looks bad today. <laughs> <But what> do you, <laughs> <laughs> like, you look worse than usual. Yeah. You just put on a track suit? Like, yeah, just a track Like, I'd come to work in a track suit, and, like, I'd grow my beard out a little more, and people would be like, are you okay? <laughs> uh, anyone remember Spore? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, the penis simulator. <laughs> I like Spore. I'm a little bit of a Spore apologist. Spore actually. is yeah. 10 years old, and the, I guess that means the Spore creature creator? Mm -hmm. Is that what they called it? You the, could like, call them that. <laughs> was it really Spore ended up pretty fun. I don't think it was that bad. I think it just overpromised. It's like one of those games where the developer went out game. and said, for yeah. years, like, this is going to be this game about creating the universe. Yeah. And it's going to be the greatest thing you've ever played. And then it was just then a bunch of minigames. You're just trading spice at the end, and you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. That's a good one. 10 years old. I haven't played that one. Would you recommend me play that game today? Because you love Having five. Having loved five. Yeah. yeah. People still would. Okay. You really? Yeah, I don't know if you can go from five to four. It's Metal Gear Solid. Who cares? All right. <laughs> well, I think the thing about one. four is that it's it's a linear game, but it has the same type of ideas. You just infiltrate, and it's like it's like five with like you know 14 levels you play. It's great. But doesn't it have like hour-long cutscenes? Just yeah, play five knows. again. I heard that one. Yeah, I yeah. could play five again. Good call. It has crazy, crazy amounts of cutscenes. Did you scenes. play it? Oh, I love four. Yeah. Where is that scene? I haven't played it. The only thing I know about it is that scene where he crawls through the microwave tunnel. Is that as intense as it looks in the? In I the can't YouTube remember video? that. I remember a guy's. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Spoilers, dude. You just told everyone to play it, and now you're spoiling the end of the game. <laughs> uh, Fallout Three. It's ten years old now. A really good. I that still was remember. Probably the best game out that year, but I don't think we gave it our Game of the Year award. Oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> Uh, I do still remember when Pete Hines brought Fallout 3 to the old IGN office for the first time, and I'd never played a Fallout game before, and he started from the beginning of the game where he went to the town, uh -huh. met all the people, and then left and nuked the town, I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> because there was that town that was a crater, right? Yeah, you could it's called Megaton. You destroy it, yeah. or, yeah, and I remember you guys writing about that, that was really scary. I love that game because you could just play it incorrectly and do okay for a while. Like, you could just get addicted to drugs and sell spoons, and then... <laughs> A guy dies in front of you, and you take his like level 99 gun, and you're like, I'm a god! <laughs> uh, and then speaking of the rise of indie games, World of Goo. Mm -hmm. It's 10 oh, yeah. years old. Yeah. That game was a, kind was of a fantastic. special, it was like a Wii exclusive. Yeah, first, it, was right? a, it hit the for Wii a long time. first, for sure, and it, it used the Wii remote, and it, it worked. It, it could have just been a mouse, but it used the Wii remote. Why? Who knows? All right, 20 years, we're going to start feeling old now, everybody, if we, yeah. <laughs> These are the games that will make us feel old. 20 years old is Metal Gear Solid. Mm -hmm. Wow. The first one. Gear. And I feel like there's some games is this on this the list. best year in games? That it's would be there. 1998. We were talking about that earlier. 98. 98's up there. 98. It's up there, it? right? Uh, 2007. And 87. 2001 and then 87. These are all really strong okay. years. But right. yeah. So 20 years ago, we're talking about 1998, Metal okay. Gear Solid. Ocarina of Time, of Ooh, course. Yeah, amazing. Wow, amazing. Isn't it weird that Nintendo, has, they haven't announced any sort of like 20th anniversary edition? That is weird. Yeah. They're not great at birthdays. That's they weird. did like the year, they'll do like year the, of Luigi. The, the year of Luigi where they lost a bunch of money and like, we can't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie is also <laughs> 20 years old. A really good one. Spyro, which I guess uh, someone at Activision did uh, carefully plan that one out because we've got mm -hmm. the uh, yeah, there's the anniversary, the anniversary good. of that coming out. Resident Evil Two, it's '98. Cap you, you love that one, right? Oh yeah, I love Resident Evil Two. Yeah, yeah. Capcom almost got that remake ready for this year. Yeah, they just they just just, they just barely gonna it. miss it. That's Dude. out in uh, January. I played that at E3. It is very spooky. Yeah. As someone that doesn't play spooky games, I'm like I can't. I got like halfway through that demo, and they're like, "You still have time left." I'm like, "I'm good." <laughs> All right. <laughs> They had people dressed like zombies shaking you while you played. Yeah, that. well, and this That's is so, a, so, so at, at E3 they had this experience where to like get to the area where you play the game. They give you so they give you a flashlight and then open a door and then you walk in a dark place. And I'm like, great, this is already <laughs> wonderful. And I'm and it's this little winding hallway. Like you go through this little S curve and you're shining your flashlight. And I know, I know that a zombie is gonna pop out, right? <laughs> And even knowing that that happened, I'm still like, ah! <laughs> and then, of course, they give you a picture of you looking like a complete doof with like the zombie in your face after. Oh, that's great. Did you bring it home? No. What? <laughs> I think you should put it in your living room. Like, I think they it. keep those. They're all in like a file now. And the next time they... You have two kids now. It'd be so cool to have them grow up with a picture of their father just terrified. <laughs> <laughs> that's daddy. He peed in his pants at work. <laughs> Yeah, I already have a hard enough time explaining what I do. <laughs> 
But you're saying on days we record Game Scoop, it's easier to explain. Yeah, my daughter's four, and it's really cute because I always ask, I'm like, how was school? And then she asks me, like, how was work? And, like, I can't, <laughs> I'm like, I don't have any way to contextualize, like, what any of this means. But on the day we do Game Scoop, I'm like, oh, we make a fun show where we tell people what video games are good. And she's like, got it. Can I have some ice cream? <laughs> Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, 20 years old. Wow. it's a good one. It's been yeah. 20 years. What a year. Yeah. yeah. And then this one's uh, very close to, near and dear to my heart, Einhander is also 20 years old. No, that's a Jared Petty. What's 98? That, was. that one's for Jared. That wasn't Bioshock, was it? No. Bio in, not Bioshock, okay. nope. <laughs> that was in like 2000. Oh, that that would have been. That's a 2007, yeah. Oh, is that why? Because we were talking about yeah, the yeah. other anniversaries before mm -hmm. he came out. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. 10 years off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we get into the really good stuff. The game's turning 30 years old this year. Ooh. Games like Altered Beast. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's That's always been bad. Game. It's yeah, it's it's a, it's a bad game. It's always been bad. Wise for No, it's, it's way. it talks. That's cute, but it's oh, it's it, oh, He's like I'm a wolf now. You're like, "All right, but you're not great." Like it's not a good game. It's okay. It's just not good. It was cool at the time. I'm gonna get like, there's gonna be five years of YouTube comments being like, oh, IGN says Alter Beast was never good. <laughs> Sam, I'm putting you on the spot. Me. What's the first pinball table that talks? Oh, Gorgar. I was gonna, I think it's Gorgar. 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 Wow. Yeah. It's a good name. Gorgar. It says, it says I will win. <laughs> <laughs> and it strings together. It can say like 10 words and string them together into a few. Yeah, so it says. can be like, win, you won't. Yeah. I like <laughs> it, does it, all, it does it all wrong. Yeah. It's great. So just uh, serve that you. Ghouls and ghosts. Yeah, which wow. is 30 years old now. The follow up to Ghosts and Goblins, but uh, we probably didn't play that till Super Ghouls and Ghosts on Super Ghouls. Yeah, Super I, guess, I don't think I've ever that's played the non Super game. version. Yeah, just, and then, yeah, that's true. Although I do think it's better than Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, Double Dragon 2. Yeah. Damn. 30 years old. Brian and I played through that game in its entirety you did? a couple years like ago. Like a year ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was great. To PlayStation 4. Who was Bimmy and who was Jimmy? Uh, I don't remember now. But uh, Bionic Commando yeah, is 30 years game. old. A perfect game. I know. Pe see, as people realize, yeah. I was thinking that maybe that the Thanks, first Pear. year that Game Scoop was recording might have been the first summer of arcade. Because mm. the it next one 2006. was the great no. Bionic Commander Rearmed. It would have been one, one or two Rearmed years after. So that. good. Yeah, and that, that summer was amazing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. Mm -hmm. It's 30 years old. Yeah. But I also, love that game. Also three. Also three. Because Super <laughs> three Mario Bros. 3 came, came out in Japan in 88, and yeah. Super Mario Bros. 2 is not a real Mario game and came out here yes. that year, and then came out in Japan later. It's they crazy. must have been laughing at us. Yeah, I know. Back they would. They were like, we yeah. can fly, and we're like, well, you can throw a turnip. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the 80s, and you could do whatever you wanted. It's They're insane. Like, there were like make... five Final Fantasies ahead yeah. of us. Yeah. Mega Man was human in, in Japan. Is like, what are we gonna do? We didn't release the last two Final Fantasies here, and they're like, "It's fine. <laughs> Just do whatever you want." <laughs> What's weird is they waited two years to get it out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two years, and in that time, they actually, uh, you know, improved the Nintendo cartridge so it could actually hold the game. Mario Two is too hard. We can't release it in America. Here's what we do. Let's take a completely different game. <laughs> yeah. We'll just call it Mario 2. The Americans won't know the difference. Yeah. Man. But what if they start asking questions? The whole thing is a lie. It's a yeah. dream. Video games, we've said it on Scoop before, when we were growing up in the 80s, Japan was just a magical land where yeah. video games just came from. Mm -hmm. yeah. You'd read these magazines, these little tiny pictures, they just looked amazing. Well, that was like the Nintendo 64, I found out about it in Nintendo Power. Yeah. There was just like a paragraph at the end of one issue, they're like, yeah. hey, how's your Super Nintendo? Is that fun? You having some fun over there, little boy? That's cool. Guess what? In Japan, they have the Ultra 64. It's amazing. Bye. See you in a month. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And I called my dad, and I'm like, please. Break me to Japan right now. And he's like, no. And why did you call me? There was such a demand for Mario 3 that I, over the years in collecting NES games, I found bootleg Super Mario 3s that work in NESs wow. from the lead up. So like, it, think about like the, the steps you'd have to take to bootleg an NES card at that time. What That's were those steps? a big investment. Well, it was like actually, you know, figuring out how to bypass the security chip and printing the cartridges. Because I, like I remember on, on the N64, it was you had to, you had to cut a, a notch out of the side of the, system, the cartridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that well, was that it. was, yeah, if you just put a Japanese game in your system. Mm -hmm. And this was adjusted to just work right in NES. You just buy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll bring some in. They're really neat. They have different art and stuff. Yeah, on Nintendo 64, you just had to be a child with a power saw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, along with Super Mario Bros. 2, there was also uh, Zelda 2. Mm -hmm. Came out the same year. Which I love as well. I'll fight you. I'm into I, it now. It's Jared's I also love game. Zelda 2. Is that Jared Petty's favorite Zelda game? Yep. Zelda 2? Yeah. Okay, yeah. just making sure. Confirmed. Yeah. Uh, and Mega Man 2. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's the best one, right? No, it's three years. Uh, it's, it's people go back and forth. I think when you nine play... Nine's really good. I mean, yeah, nine's really good. But when you play three and you get the slide, it's hard to go back to two without That's a slide. That's true. Yeah. Has anybody played Mega Man 11? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Like, you down with it? Yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. It's pretty good. I thought it was good, too. Yeah. And then... Uh, good point five. This is pretty interesting. 30 years ago, EA released the first Madden. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. They've been releasing Madden. It came out on the Apple II. Was it, was it just called Madden? It was like Madden NFL football, yeah. It didn't have the it was year in John it. John Madden back then. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they would put the year. <laughs> they didn't put the year. It's it funny Madden to think of it year. having stiff competition from Tech Mobile. Yeah. <laughs> Madden won. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same game, yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> Apple II. All right, and then for for forty years, games turning God, forty years what? old. What really? Just, there's two that I want to single out. Sam, hold your tongue. Okay. Because be like... Sam thought of a, a different one. Oh. Probably the most significant one is. Do you have a guess, Justin? Is it Gorgar. Seventy eight. It's a really good year. Uh, it's Space year Invaders. King. Space Invaders is seventy seven. So it's, it's, it, you got Space Invaders. Oh, is it Space Invaders seventy eight? <laughs> and then oh no, yeah. it's Space Invaders. And then I was gonna say maybe Centipede, but I think that's later. Eighty. Yeah. 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 Space Invaders is forty, but then maybe, perhaps more importantly. Fire truck? Fire truck. So what? what's crazy about this year is that whenever you see this, Space Invaders is a black and white game. And yeah, you're actually like, seeing yeah. in the arcade when you play it, it has a, a, a piece of plastic over the black and white screen to make this lower part green. Like how cool is that? So games were still black and white in 1978. And the game that I was just talking about and another game that's great called Video Pinball, all from Atari, were like really creative games. They're just like, what are we going to do? Yeah. Pong's not popular anymore. Yeah. And they had to figure out what to do before Taito did this. And, and then everybody just copied that. But uh, we played a game called Fire Truck at California Extreme, this cool convention. And it's two people sit in a tiny fire truck, mm -hmm. and the front person has a wheel and the back person has a wheel, and you have to do the fire truck thing. It's top down, you control the back end and the front end uh, separately, and it's really fun. Do you put you put out fires, or you well, just drive just the truck? Get to the if fire. you make it to the fire, I don't think you can make it's it. Impossible. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know that we have. So you you, make you only do the getting to the fire part, yeah, not the putting out the fire part. The it's like that section of hey, the Ghostbusters. They didn't game. think that far. <laughs> And it also has a horn button that does nothing. Well, I also I want to point out that that was 1978, 40 years ago, and you had destructible cover in the game, destructible yeah. environments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah space destructible invaders. environments. Maybe the first. Uh, Surely, yeah. Yeah, first exactly. appearance of them. There you have it. Uh, notable games uh, having anniversaries this year, as filtered through my personal interests. <laughs> I couldn't find any 68 games. What's up? I couldn't find any 68 games. And yeah, I didn't know when the Space War was actually uh, Yeah, 62. It's not, a, it's not like Dungeons and Dragons, is it? Oh, that'd be cool. I don't think, I think 68? it's... 68? I was going to say. Oh, yeah, God. I think it's God damn it. <laughs> Sarah Petty. <laughs> Keep it down, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, Brian, before we say goodbye to you, what, what have you been playing recently? Oh man, uh, we just played a game a few minutes ago at the IGN office called Tricky Towers. Game of the really day. Fun. Game yeah. of the day. Wait, game of the day. It. Yeah, game of the day. Go play it uh, next week on Switch or four years ago on your PS4. <laughs> <laughs> what's the 8-bit game you were talking about at MVC? Pear, what's the name of that game? Every game. Every game, game. Every game on the Switch. The 8-bit one where, where it's like a Metroidvania, but it's like 8-bit style? Oh, man. All right, well. No, we joked about doing like a top to 25 NBC. platformers on Switch, so we'll probably put that together. Yeah. But. Yeah, and then tonight I'll play some Mario Party. Yeah, it's Mario Party weekend. Opening weekend for Mario Party. Yeah. I haven't argued with my wife in a while, so. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> awesome. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Cheers to 500, Brian guys. Altano, thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, I would like to invite up here editorial manager Tina Amini to the stage. Hey, Tina. Tina, would you like Hello. a beer? Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, it's time to you know we're in uh, we're in the fourth quarter of the year. We're in the witching hour of 2018 now. <laughs> so that means that can only mean one thing, Justin. It's time to check in with Game of the Year Watch. <laughs> I didn't know they were gonna do Mark. that. Mark. Mark. Okay. Right. Forget it. It's too late now. Just forget it. It's fine. <laughs> Um, let's get right to it. Is, is God of War still the game of the year so far? Yeah. It's one of two games that we've given a 10 out of 10 so far. This God year. of War and Celeste. Yes. And Celeste as well, yeah. Um, well, so God of War did not receive as, as much of an applause as I expected. Mm. Is that because mm. everyone loves Spider-Man now? 
Yeah. Wow, what a turnaround. That's or awesome. is it that everyone's waiting for Red Dead to make a real Ooh. assessment? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Octopath won us all over. <laughs> <laughs> I no, like nobody Octopath. clapped. I liked Octopath. <laughs> Um, I don't. In your in your eyes, minds. What's like the what's like the front runner, as of right now? For me, it's still God of War. Yeah, you're. Uh, still... It was amazing. Like you see gifts of moments of that game that look you know scripted and like mm -hmm. they're cutscenes, but that's just how the game is. It's that gorgeous and the combat's that amaz amazing and dynamic. Like everything about that game feels so thought out mm -hmm. and the way that. Uh, the uh, every ability that you have um, works in combat or out of combat. It has multiple sort of interesting contextual uses. Um, I thought the storytelling was really good. I love I love everything about that game, and um, well, it might be one of my games of the generation. Not might be. It totally is. Yeah, I think it's definitely up there for me. I think this is still my favorite game of the year that I played so far. Are you, you going to say something? No. Okay. Well, I think God of War is a, a dad game, and I think you can relate to that. Yeah. yeah, although I, I actually did think the, the dad parts of it were a little bit... I mean, Kratos is a bad dad. Like, He's not a bad dad. He's a strict dad. He's, mm. bad. He's trying to raise him to be prepared for the real world, Justin. <laughs> the, 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 real, <laughs> the real world. As but, they know it, as gods, yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, that part of it actually didn't resonate with me so much as a father. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Tina, what do you think? What's your, what's your... It's an excellent game. Um, I think what I would highlight from God of War as being this like prestige title that came out this year is mm. the storytelling, is the character dynamics and how they built that together. I mean, it, it's a gorgeous game too. Um, so that for me is the primary reason why it would be the highlight of 2018, mm. but I'm really waiting for Red Dead. I've seen yeah. four hours of the game uh, and it is... You know, you, you believe things about Rockstar because they're so prestigious and you've, you've seen like their quality work in the past. Um, but I was like, yeah, yeah, guys, like this whole Rockstar World thing. And then I saw four hours of it and I genuinely was like, no, 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 this Rockstar World thing. Hmm. So I really want to wait until that comes out before I make, uh, you know, God of War versus Red Dead kind of statement. But I, yeah. I'm going to guess for me personally, it's going to be Red Dead too. And you lean towards story experiences, right? Like I Breath do. of the Wild wouldn't like engross you as much as it did us because um, it didn't yeah. have the story stuff. And for this sure. looks, it looks like Red Dead is the perfect combo, right? Yeah, it's, it's got those story elements and it kind of puts the onus on you to create the story uh, mm. through the world and the kind of decision that you make. Um, I just like how robust it seems, like the variety of things that you can do. Like you can, uh, one of my favorite little details that we wrote about is that you can take an animal carcass and turn it into a hat. Yeah. Which is like, why not? Cool. <laughs> how long does that take? I, well, you just, you hunt the animal, so that's probably the longest thing, and All then right. you can skin it. A bit. Uh, and then I think you take it to a store where they can turn it into a hat too. See, that's or, I, I, know, I worry about that thing. a little bit in Rockstar games, or you just have to like do a bunch of chores and they're not the fun ones. You got it. You had to do your chores. Sounds, you don't list. have to hunt. The hunting parts. Well, that sounds like the fun part. I mean, <laughs> like everything I hear about Red Dead 2 just sounds impossible. And I would never believe yeah. that anyone would be able to pull it off except for like Rockstar is the one company on earth that I kind of maybe give the benefit of the doubt that I'm like, okay, this sounds like, yeah. like, oh, there's the path. You'll see like a dad and his sons build a house and it'll get more and more built as the game progresses. I'm like, what? Like, that? like how can they go to that level of detail? But um, Rockstar is the company that, um, you know, they would pull it off. Yeah, they would yeah. pull it off. Sam, I know you're really enjoying Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm totally. I think that's my Same. game of the year right now. Hmm. Uh, that's the game I've game had the week. most fun with. It's definitely my game of the week. And uh, I, I, week. Yeah. What, what really pulled me in is that it's an explore. It has exploration in it, which uh, you guys probably hear me talk about all the time. And it's a really cool place to explore. It's a bunch of islands and like really, really pretty beaches, which just makes me want to go to a beach. And uh, and you don't have to play the game. You can just like go to the question marks. You know, just see what they are. And I always like that about Fallout and Skyrim and just like the, the ability to just like say like, that's a cool thing. I just want to go look at it. And mm -hmm. it, it awards you for that. You get XP and you get to advance that way, but you don't have to do the other stuff. Yeah. I think that's I, really cool. I'm really loving Odyssey too. I like it way more than I expected to. Mm -hmm. I give every Assassin's Creed game a shot and then uh, I've been pretty disappointed with most of them except for Black Flag. That was the last one that I really, really loved. And then Odyssey, like, I can't put it down. I'm playing it every night. I'm really engrossed in the story and the mystery of the story. Um, I think it's a lot better RPG than Origins was. I feel like I have more control over how mm -hmm. I build my character and more interesting choices to make. Um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, it's absolutely on my game of the year. You know, you I really like Cassandra, too. I hope Rockstar is as good, and I know they'll probably hopefully be as good or better, as Ubisoft is building an open world right now, because it does so much with it. Like, you can always just pull out and be a bird. 
you know, like yeah. in a second, there's that. never loading. It, it's incredible that alone. And or just if you just meditate and change the time, mm -hmm. it just pans up to the sky and the sun goes up and down like this, and everything changes in real time. Like that world is just loaded up and ready to go. It's, it's also, unbelievable. If you haven't done this, uh, you can press a button and your horse will like go to the waypoint you've set, and then you can just be a bird and fly around while you're still. Like, I didn't know you could bird it up while yeah. on the horse. Uh, in Red Dead, you can press and hold X, and it'll just go about the normal path when you're on the horse, and then go into cinematic view and you. Can change all the angles. And those cinematic views are incredible. They're gorgeous, yeah. And this that's is at really any point of time. You can do it in the middle of combat, too. Mm -hmm. Which is that, really impressive. That's a good idea, too. I'm also playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey right now, really enjoying it. I think a lot of people are really surprised at the quality of that game. I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's part of the conversation uh, for Game of the Year nominees mm -hmm. uh, in a couple months. It's often been, sorry. It, no, sure. It's uh, Assassin's Creed. We typically have 10 Game of the Year nominees at IGN, mm -hmm. and I feel like several years in a row, Assassin's Creed's been like 11, right? Like, yeah. it just didn't quite eke in there. Mm -hmm. I'm quite a bit more confident it will this year. But yeah, what? I think so too. Yeah. Uh, I know Sam and I just played through uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. Anyone else played that one? Um, no, I nope. I well, like a little I, bit I, of Gamescom. Yeah, there we go. We got some players out there. I like that one a lot. It's not quite on the same level as some of these other games we're talking about for me, but I like. I'd it. recommend it to basically anyone too. Like yeah. it's just it's a good game to play. It feels good the whole time, but uh, I don't think it's as good as the first Tomb Raider. But I think it's better than the second one. Yeah, I think it's also right. like padded by other big games and yeah. I got it more yeah. in the shuffle. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and then what about, I know it came out very early in the year, but what about Monster Hunter World? <laughs> that's been, that's, that, you know, you realize that is Capcom's best-selling game of all time. <laughs> so, so weird. Good for them. It's crazy. And, but I, I took issue with that in an earlier show. I won't go back into it. <laughs> Listen to episode 437. No. <clears throat> um, it's definitely going to be on people's personal top 10 lists. Yeah. We have office mates that love it. Yeah. And that's yeah. a big deal, right? Like, just, it took this portion of the office by storm, and that always means those people will vigorously fight for it. And, and it was great to come out in January, too, without much other competition. Yeah, very smart. Sure. It's pretty quirky. You know, I respect the game. I've said on Scoop before that I don't really like games that do the same thing that every other game is doing, right? Like, blaze your own path and present us, like, a different version of, like, a third-person action adventure game. And I respect it for that, but um, I, couldn't, I couldn't quite get my arms around it and find the loop that was enjoyable for me personally. Yeah, I get you. We didn't talk about Spider-Man, though. I don't know if you're getting. To yeah, yeah, that, I wanted yeah. To, I want to bring that up too. I yeah. think it seems like that's the game that like everyone out there is yeah. crazy about. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, and we like obviously we like it a lot too. But like, mm -hmm. uh, but it didn't get as high a score as some of these other games we're talking about. Yeah, but it still was very great, right? Yeah, like, yeah, it's great. Um, the 8.8 .8 on our scale is great. Like that's a really really great game, and that's where my head is at on it. Yeah. Like I loved it. I had a hard time putting it down. Mm -hmm. Every moment that I was playing with it, I had fun. Um, but then when the game was over and I was finished, like now it's in my rear view mirror. It's not a game that I'm like thinking about or that mm. stuck with me in the way that uh, God of War did, for example. Are we gonna see those block people? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the footage you pulled, Martin? You should have pulled the block people. I think that's a really good point, Justin. Like, it doesn't really have a lasting impact. I mean, I'm only halfway through, so I can't. I can only speak to half of the game. Um, but it does. It feels really good to play, uh, and it feels it feels comfortable in a weird way because I'm able to like take a week off and then jump back in, and it's mm -hmm. not the video gamey thing of like, wait, what are all the controls? Yeah. I feel like it just like naturally flows, mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's entertaining too. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the characters. moment to moment gameplay. And I also have to keep reminding myself that like we've had really bad Spider-Man games before. So it's like it wasn't like a sure thing that like, oh, of course the traversal is going to feel good and the combat's going to be really satisfying. Mm -hmm. Like they could have gotten it really wrong. So you're saying our standards are just too low. I mean, like <laughs> I talked about this on Scoop a couple weeks ago, but like on the AAA, like best of the best game scale, like Spider-Man for me might be right down here. But when compared to every other game on Earth, it's like it's still one of the yeah. best of the year for mm -hmm. sure. And Sam, you finished it. Yeah, I'm, I, I love it. I have really, uh, I'm trying to think now, will I like it as much as the Batman Arkham games? And what's the best, like, you know, superhero game ever? And uh, yeah, I, I, I just have to think of it in a different class. I think, like, the Arkham games are really about, you know, solving puzzles and, and finding stuff. And I really wish that was in Spider Man, but Spider Man's not that type of character. So it's kind of a good combat game and a good, like, beat em up and a good, just like, uh, like as you're saying, just feels good to swing around. And I like all that. I think that's really neat. I just have to kind of reset. Like, I don't play a lot of games like that. You know? Well, for, for the Batman games, too, it kind of helped that uh, Rocksteady, like, set a tone for it. And it was kind of groundbreaking at the time. 
time. And so now we're a little bit more like, eh, we've played that before. It's not as it's not as impressive yeah. on this mm. third time around. Um, one thing that I loved and really appreciated about Spider-Man was its storytelling. And um, in some ways, it's a very conventional sort of a standard comic book Spider-Man story. But it takes risks with characters like Mary Jane that I think are actually really smart and natural. Like usually in the comics, you know, she's a model or an actress. But I think making her a reporter was smart mm -hmm. and clever. And, and making um, her playable, too. Yeah, and like even some of the stuff like uh, you know Octavius in the game has an interesting arc, and um, and uh, Aunt May, you know, just the things that they did with those characters, I thought was you know smart. They're like familiar, but also put a new spin on them that doesn't feel artificial. I I, I actually really like the story a lot. Hmm. There's been some uh, uh, people writing uh, really interesting pieces about how Spider-Man seems naive in uh, right now, and I think. I liked that about Spider-Man, that Spider-Man can still solve a bunch of problems, and then also it kind of tackles one big problem where it's just like this, this theme of homelessness, and it, a lot of it takes place in a homeless shelter. And I was like, oh, that's actually really touching and, and interesting, and I just thought that was, it was brave. It was really cool to play that. I mean, Insomniac and their marketing really played up uh, the, it, like he's not a brand new Spider-Man. He's been Spider-Man for a long time. That was mm -hmm. their message from the beginning. but. It's this really interesting time in that character in Peter Parker's life because he's not like a veteran yet. Like, they're like, oh, he's been Spider Man for I think it's eight years or 10 years, but that still means he's only like 25 or 26, right? Yeah. Like, he's still really young, but old enough that he has a history. And I think they, they really walked that line perfectly in Sonic yeah. Acted. We just had sort of our first discussions uh, here in our, in our uh, weekly post -morts about our end of year best of uh, content. So we're definitely gonna be ramping that up over the next coming weeks. Still some big games to go. Of course, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, Fallout 76 is in November. Of course, uh, Smash Brothers is in yeah. December. Yeah. Pokemon might be really good. Pokemon is coming out in November. It's still Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty as Battlefield. well. And yeah. Battlefield as well, yeah. So it's still some really big games. Um, oh, we're missing something. What's that? We're missing something really big. Well, we're not naming every I mean, I single know. game. This is something I was really looking forward to. That uh, that's coming out. But I do want to point out that I think our God of War review written by Jonathan Dornbush is our most read article of the year. Mm. So we'll see what happens when Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, comes out. See if that can overtake that. I don't know. Um, anyway, the, uh, as always, the Game of the Year Watch discussion continues. Tina, thank you so much for joining us thank up here you. today. Thanks, guys. Tina Amini, everybody. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Fran Mirabella III. Hi, Fran. Hello, everybody. <laughs> What's up, Fran? What's going on in Destiny? I know. Everybody Keep knows me actually. as the Destiny guy now. We do Fire Team Chat every Friday at 5 p.m. if you want to check it out. Yeah. Uh, would you like a beer? I have half a beer, but I'll okay. also take another beer. I was going to ask, is that dark beer or is that coffee? I stole a nut brown ale out of ah. the fridge. So, oh, do you want Was there a name Kolsch? on it? Kolsch. 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 Do you want Kolsch? Yeah. Is this making the full cut of the episode? Do you want the Kolsch is one of my favorite beers. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pernos. He's worried thank that we're you. not going to cut this out. I am. Fran's a video editor at heart. <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm a video guy. Frame by frame. <laughs> so... I, I think I kind of know why I'm here. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're here because... I brought you know, a pen. Game of the Year watch is cute and all, but uh, it's kind of small potatoes, you know. <laughs> here we're celebrating the, the, the life of this 12-year-old show, so I thought it would be a little bit more significant to look at Game of the Career watch. Whoa. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Came prepared. Everybody's so, everybody's so impressed. <laughs> Just crickets. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like that's only games from we we just <laughs> from what now? Of what? Well, yeah, they picked art they from one, one year. Yeah. No, just except kidding. for GLaDOS. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So like my career goes back twelve years, but Fran is going back what eighteen years? Yeah, since okay. two thousand. I was freelancing for IGN at the beginning of two thousand and uh, going to college at the time of ninety nine. Yeah. And you could have just called this game of the century. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm bring up like stone tablets. <laughs> But Game of the Career rhymes with game... Never mind. Okay. Yeah, see, I get it, Damon. Uh, all right. So everyone, I see where you, okay. lock the doors. No one can leave until we determine what is the best game to come out over the past 18 years. No yeah. problem. <laughs> so 2000... No bathroom breaks. Yeah. And Majora's Mask business. makes that cut, because it's 2000. Sure right? does. Uh, 2000 and 2017, right? What? That's what we're looking at right now. 
Or yeah, were, except um, uh, IGN started giving out Game of the Year in 2001. Yeah. Right. So I have the, I have a list of every IGN uh, Game of the Year. Shall I shall I recite it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just to remind you, 2001 was Halo. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Solid. 2002 is Battlefield 1942. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys won't applaud if you heard the things that didn't win all these years. <laughs> That was, that was contentious repair. Yeah, it was uh, 2000. Because Smart Metroid Prime was that year. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're going to get into that, right? The, yeah, the, yeah, these yeah. choices are all fun and games until you realize what else was out those years. <laughs> Fran, Fran's got spreadsheets I printed did. out. You yeah. Some like serial killer notes <laughs> over there. I cut every word out of a magazine. Yeah. Just... 2003 was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Ooh. Yeah. Fair. 2004 was. Anybody? Half-Life 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. 2005 was God of War, the original. 2006 was Okami. Yeah. 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 That was a controversial year as well. Controversial. Same year as Twilight Princess, of course. Mm. 2007 was Super Mario Galaxy. Yes. Yeah. 2008 was Fallout 3. So we did oh, give it on. Yeah, that's good. Uh, 2009 was Uncharted 2. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The best Uncharted. I think so. I think so. 2010 was Mass Effect 2, the best Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a game. 2011 was Portal 2. Nice. These are all my favorite games. I know, The best right? <laughs> Portal. 2012 takes a, takes a sharp corner here. Journey. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. An indie game. Indie game. 2013 was The Last of Us. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, that's been like the most popular game with our audience. Yeah. We'll see if that's changed. We'll see yeah. if that's changed. Oh, I didn't do, I'm sorry. I, we didn't test the audience's uh, gauge of, we can still do it. Okay, okay 2014, <laughs> 2014, <laughs> Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind Rom of. Romance. Do we mess that one, one up? If there's, if there's one that we kind of, we kind of messed up on. No, you know what? I think it was a, it was a lazy year. <laughs> I think everyone was just really burned. They just wanted to get to a holiday break and they're like, yeah, that sounds, you know that sounds we're, fun. We're in a fight. 2015 was The Witcher 3. Yeah, that holds up. We're getting close. 2016 was Overwatch. Mm -hmm. And 2017 was Breath of the Wild. Nice. Hey, everybody likes Breath of the Wild. What's up? Everybody likes Breath of the Wild. It's yeah, good. everybody likes Breath of the Wild. Um, so I don't know, Fran, do you want to start uh, mentioning some of the, the things that Man. didn't win? Like, yeah, exactly. How do we go through all this? Uh, yeah, I'll just start throwing out some of the years and the, the picks so, there, right? Yeah, well, let's maybe go back, go, go back tell to, me. The, to like 2001. What, yes. What, what didn't win? Well, and what fine. did you And I'm at for? least going to mention that 2000, it was absolutely Majora's Mask was the winner. Yeah, we were, we're not, I know we're not covering it, but. Yeah. Pear, what, do you know why like, we only started giving Game of the Year awards in 2001? Just laziness. Yeah. It was well, because it was Fran's idea. And he yeah, when I came in, I really changed things up. <laughs> 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 there were no cops. Uh, they were doing whatever they wanted. Yeah. But in 2000, there was The Sims, Banjo Tooie, Red Alert 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Anyway. Whoa. Okay. Wasn't Pro Skater right? 2 the one? Also? Oh, it was so good. Tony Hawk 2. That's, yeah. that's the one to but play. Wait, that was in 2001? No, that's 2000. 2000. Okay. Okay. 2001. Tough. Halo was the pick. This spanned over, well, with the page break, it went into two sheets. I couldn't believe 2001. So I'm not going to do this for every year, but I feel like for this year, I'm going to name a bunch of things. Okay. A couple of them are my picks. Final <laughs> Fantasy Star Online, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Rayman 2, Super Smash Brothers Melee, Gran Turismo 3, A-Spec, Max right. Payne, this Advance Wars, Devil May Cry, GTA 3, Silent Hill 2, yeah. Eco, Civ 3, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Final Fantasy 10, Paper Mario, and Pikmin even. Pikmin. Isn't that crazy how much came out that year? What yeah. a year. And uh, Super Monkey Ball. Oh, I, trust me, tons of favorites. Um, that was the GameCube launch year. Yep. So there was but yet, like, that's what was crazy to me going over this list. I don't know how you guys feel when you hear that. Do you feel like Halo is the right choice going uh, back over I that list? I feel like Halo is, you know, still a, a franchise going strong today, and it's very beloved with people. You know, yeah. I, there's some games on that list that I prefer to Halo, right. but I think... To the yeah. wider audience, it's maybe also it right. like its vision for like what FPS combat could be in yeah. a console at, at the, the time. time it was like, like so mind blowing. It's a little bit yeah. more conventional now. It's so much more advanced than uh, GoldenEye and Perfect yes. Dark was, right? Yeah. Yeah. But for me, a game that has transcended time, Super Smash Brothers Melee, and that was a game I reviewed yeah. as well. Wait, what year was that? One. Super Smash Brothers Melee, and what I remember uh, 2001. Yeah. We're still so, in 2001. I know. Well, we that was just the first sample year. We, I know we have very year. limited yeah. time, but okay. um, 
that that was crazy to think that that is still a tournament game these days. And it, I reviewed that game. I love Halo, but man, that was the game that year. So mm. good. Uh, how do you want to handle the next years? Is just go through some of my quick picks and then yeah, quick picks. Overall sure. game of the career. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Fair enough. Hear what yours is. Yeah. I think 2002 is important. 2002, Pear and I always well, yeah, talk what was, about what's this one. The, what's this the was huge. Really? Okay, so almost every other outlet out there gave Metroid Prime, also a game I reviewed, uh, the game of the year, and and rightly so. And I think <laughs> we were split at the office, and actually, I'm really glad I have a forum for this. Give me one second. I played more Battlefield than almost anybody in the office. I was there until 2, 3 a.m. on our LAN, shouting over the, the desk with the, uh, the PC editors. We set up custom servers. I love that game. Janky, so janky, man. <laughs> Kick from games, just stuff flying off the map when it should. But it's an amazing, like, experiment, open, you know, kind of sandbox feel. And it was incredible. But Metroid Prime, just yeah. unbelievable. Gave it a 9.8. Um, in fact, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to quickly re read what I wrote for my <laughs> review summary. Yes. See, the we wounds, don't mind it's at super all. wounds are still fresh. It's super short. So, Metroid Prime on GameCube is amazing. That's what the score qualifier is at a 9.8. And I just simply said, Metroid Prime is unquestionably a must-have masterpiece that all forthcoming adventure titles will be judged by. Mm -hmm. And we also argued at the office all the time that people are like, it's first-person shooter. It's like, not quite. Isn't so. it funny, and I've talked about this before, that, that Nintendo was cutting edge, and that was probably the best-looking game that year. Oh, my God. It was, and Half-Life yeah. 2 came out that year. I thought that was Beautiful. the best-looking video game I had ever out seen out at that time. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. On a console, first yeah. of all, that's weird. So, Eric was saying earlier that yeah. PCs were kind of in a slump. You yeah. can almost feel like the PC nerds and like the console gamers at war in the office that year deciding game of the year. It was a big deal. We had a lot of PC love in the office. And again, I played a ton, so I was just, we fought. That one was close. It was a very close award on that one, and Battlefield won it. Let's Fran, just moving on. Fran, would yeah. you like to read anything from your Mario Kart Double Dash review? Oh, we're getting there. That's a great segue into the next year, 2003. What was the best game in 2003, a year when Mario Kart Double Dash came out, Beyond Good and Evil? We awarded it to KOTOR, right? Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Wind Waker, and Call of Duty, even. A couple of my picks that I put on the list. So, you know me, Double Dash was the best game. Come on, give it up. <laughs> All right, clearly those people don't know me. We know you, and you didn't say I that. I said that it was good, not great. I gave it a 7.9, the infamous first review that I, I know of where our boards asked for, uh, they said, Fran must resign. Sign here for Fran to resign. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they didn't know how that works, I guess. But yeah. things have gotten a lot better in the years since. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My <laughs> actual pick was Prince Persia: Sands of Time over Kotor. Whoa! Oh, you have it. <laughs> there you go. How did he know? Oh, it's re-reviewed by Jose, though. What's going on with that? Oh, Something's weird yeah, about that. No, 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 that's a Splatoon review. Yeah. yeah. Wait, this is a farce. All right. Yeah, Damon, I don't, I don't want to take us over time. You tell me. Uh, surely, in 2004, there was nothing better than Half-Life 2. Yeah, definitely for me, that was, that was my pick, okay. but it was unbelievable that Halo 2, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, uh, oh Metroid no. okay, Prime yeah. 2, Burnout 3, and actually Ooh. I love Splinter Cell, love Ninja Burnout. Gaiden. Yeah. So good, right? Those but the, good. my pick was, I mean, Half-Life, duh. Yeah. Um, if we had to do 2005 over again, I'd probably pick something other than the original God of War yeah. myself. You know. I got a pick. You were voting that year? Easy. No, I wasn't here yet. Okay. Was Easy here pick for me. Which was what, 2005? This is brutal. Uh, it's not brutal. You know, you know what I'm going to pick? No, yeah. I, I'm trying to think what was that big, big that year. I we just remember. talked about it. Oh, sorry. I, I wonder if you did. What? Resident Evil 4. Ah, oh, yes. That's, man. That's, See, I don't yeah. know what you're thinking, but... That's not what I was thinking. What were you thinking of? What are the other games that year? Uh, Call of Duty 2, Shadow of the Colossus, Battlefield oh, 2, oh, GTA like Liberty Sam's City. Game. What is? Shadow, Shadow of the, the Colossus, Colossus, of course. Yeah. I, I couldn't... PS2 is tough, though, man. Yeah. Man. Couldn't argue with that one. But Resident Evil 4. 2005 like Resident Evil 4. How could you not go with that? I mean, God of War, I mean, amazing. I feel like the Nintendo people got voted down a lot because it seems like for these big Nintendo games, there was like these Xbox games winning. Yeah. Two of those years, KOTOR and uh, uh, Halo. Yeah. Like over big Nintendo games. That's yep. crazy. I, you know what's funny? Like a little inside intel. There really was like this split in the office of like, if you, that was really the PC master race back then, let me tell you. And the, the elite attitude because they played Resident Evil 4 and they like literally would be spouting like, they're spitting venom over it. They're like, that game, you can't even move. You're like a tank stuck in a spot. They gave it no chance at all. And those were the types of discussions you had as a console person hmm. uh, against it. So, anyway. Uh, we are running short on time. Yeah. I think there's some other some notable games that were, were released over the past 18 years. Of course, GTA 5, Metal Gear Solid 5, 
That's definitely one of my favorite games of this generation. Uncharted 4? What do we, th- we? Oh my God! Yeah. How do we think about that one? No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Still, just Uncharted 2 is the. the favorite. Just, that's Metal Gear Solid 5 lost to The Witcher 3, I believe. That was a yeah, tough yeah, year. Yeah, that's true. It was that's close, true. but everybody liked those games. I think it was the same equally. year as Fallout 4 as well. Ugh. Yeah. So but I would have chosen either of those games over yeah. Fallout 4. Yeah. There's Bloodborne, and all all the Souls. That was a close one in that year. Yeah. Uh, there's any of the Arkham's. Yeah. Oh yeah. Any of the Arkham games. There's the Bioshocks. There's the Mass Effects. And there's Skyrim. Man. How, how in 2010, though, yeah. we really never picked Red Dead Redemption, huh? I what? guess Tina went over that. But. Tell us uh, 2007. Uh, that was the year that um, uh, Mario Galaxy won, but that was an incredible year for games. It really was. Bioshock, Halo 3, Portal, and Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, yeah. first big one. Mm-hmm. Um, really my pick was actually... Ooh, was, now I'm looking again. Uh, I really loved Galaxy, and actually I loved Bioshock, man. It was just such a cool game. Um, <laughs> Uh, personal favorite game of, of your career. I know. Oh. So out of like all those, you're, you're stuck against like games have evolved like so much. And, you know, I guess the simple answer is that when I look at the best game sort of ever for me over that span of time, I have to look at the stuff that really impacted me. That leaves me with this wow that I just can't shake. I still think back on like the feeling of loading into it. And it is still Metroid Prime. Yeah, and I, I thought I you were going to say Destiny. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's awesome. Because the, the pace of Metroid Prime, when you land on your feet and have everything taken away from you, and the way it scales up, and it's so smart that you go see these bosses, earn new powers, that is used all the time. And it was used before, obviously, by previous Zelda Metroid games. But Metroid I like Prime, to call it a Metroidvania. Yes. Well, yeah. Metroid Prime, just yeah. incredible. And I really hope the next one, they don't fudge it up. Yeah, enough. Metroid Prime 4 is still yeah. coming. And hopefully Metroid Prime will be playable on Switch at some point because everybody here should play it. Yeah. It's true. Fran, thank you so much for joining us up here. Thanks, thank Fran. you guys. It's a pleasure. Thanks Fran Mirabella the third. We're running short on time, so we're, that means we're going to go a little bit over because I've got some really fun stuff planned that I don't Woo-hoo! want to cut. Uh, our final guest, please welcome to the stage Jared Petty. They got me on this side because I don't like Justin. Yeah, that's, we just, that's, yeah. <laughs> 15 <laughs> deep, deep feud. So much hatred. Jared, would yeah. you like a beer? Uh, no, thank you. I can't okay. have a beer. Uh, we'll, Sam, would, do you have your equipment handy? Yeah, sure. Okay. We're going to try, we're going to, Sam has some very scientific equipment we're going to use to determine what you guys yeah. think is the game of the year so far. Everyone, please turn your phones into airplane mode. We don't yeah. want it interfering with the sensitive, sensitive yeah. equipment All that. Right. <laughs> This is serious. <laughs> so he has some equipment here that is going to read. We're going to ask you to applause, to applaud for some of these notable games uh, that we know are going to be in the running for game of the year. And Sam has some equipment he's going to use to measure your volume. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to so, you, so that you know what your options are. I'll recite the games first, and then we'll go back through them. So you guys can pick what you want to applaud for. So we'll no applauding board. now. No applauding now. We're going to read off all But the, the games, games we're talking about are Monster Hunter World, God of War, and Spider-Man. Woo! I think those are the main ones. Hold on, hold on. I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> I know you can't. <laughs> Just measure the applause. That's all you have to do. So of those three games, what would be your pick for Game of the Year right now? Who uh, wants to applaud for Monster Hunter World? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You got your you get, reading there? You get the reading? Okay. Okay. All right. The who... Baby, the baby also likes it. <laughs> who would pick God of War? <laughs> okay. There's some discrepancy between those two <laughs> readings, I can tell. This is why it's important to have yeah. the calibrated yeah. equipment. It's the math out. checks out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, who would pick Spider-Man? It looks like it's going to be close. Yeah. Is know. that it? That's it. Oh, well, then God of War won. God of War? <laughs> okay. Did God of War make it to distrubing? Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> went from loudly to distrubing. <laughs> That's the actual scale I'm seeing here. They've gone to plaid. All right. Let's try and get uh, distrubing to be a box quote on the Game of the Year edition of God of War. It's distrubing like, GameScoop fans. <laughs> top 10 dumbest things. Yeah. All right, 
We are going to play video game 20 questions, but first. Ooh. But first we're going to do video game Who Am I? Now, oh. Some of you may have played this with us before. I've selected some characters for everyone. Uh, but here's the thing. You have to play ball. and Everyone has to play ball and play nicely. We're going to put up an image of who, like, who Sam is behind okay. here. Okay. And so we're all going to know who I'm Sam playing, is, right? except Sam. Well, maybe. We're okay. going to see. We're going to roll a dice to see who plays. And then Sam's going to ask yes or no questions to figure out who he is, and we're all going to help him. And okay. so no one's going to shout out the name, ruin the game. We're all just going to play together and throw you help. You can send me eyebrow signals. But I picked, I picked a character for Justin, Sam, and Jared. But in the interest of time, uh, to be honest, uh, Justin, Sam's and Jared's okay. uh, characters are more interesting. That's good. I was so, very yeah. nervous That's about a this hint, anyway. So I'm, Uh-oh. So That's I'm a hint. They're all right, interesting. I think it's scoop. Interesting to Damon. That means yes. they're, you know, 16-bit we, we brawlers. Before, yeah. 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 I'm going to roll this dice. If it lands on one to three, I'm it'll be Sam. This. If it lands on four to six, it'll be Jared. It's four. So it's going to be Jared. Oh, no. So Jared. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at glasses right now, just trying to <laughs> hey, see. Uh, take your glasses off. Yeah, there you go. All, All right. right, so Jared, <laughs> eyes forward. Hold off, Mark. Eyes forward. Hold on, Mark. And now, Jared, eyes forward. And okay. Mark, when I give uh, the signal, let's reveal who Jared is. Is everybody ready? Right. Everybody knows how this is going to work? All right, Mark, who is Jared? <laughs> that checks out. Damon, you're good at this. I, I mean, how many questions do I have? Is there a limit? As many as they'll take, we're all here to help you. Okay, then I'm going to start with, is, is, it, is it Eggman? <laughs> no. Is it Max Payne when he's like, don't let himself go? The Eggman no. is warmer. Okay, okay, so either of those. Not Max Payne, not you Eggman want, when he let himself go. You want yes or no questions? All right, am I human? No. no. Uh, am I a character originating from the 8-bit era? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, did I originate in arcades? No. Uh, let's see. Am I associated closely with Nintendo? Yes. All right. Uh, am I prime, like a main character in a video game? No. No. Am I a Nintendo first-party character? Yes. Yes. Uh, am I pink and uh, round? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. What? Yes. What? No? Whoa. Oh. Oh. Let's. I mean, hold Jared. on. Well, we don't want to throw him off, but. No. I'm very confused. I would, I would say the answer to the question is, is a light yes, but we don't light want to throw yes. it off. You had two, like, let's split up the two. Yeah, okay. yeah, split them up. Am I pink? Yes. yes. All right. Am I male? No. Well, I, uh, <laughs> it goes... The, a, am I goes, Birdo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, got it. Okay. Let's go. There's a that was very good deep birdo lore. Yeah, I know. That was yeah. that was where I, I thought that's probably gonna gonna decide this one way or the other, yeah, right? If you would have here. asked, do I have a nice diamond ring? I would have been like, what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What since was I was since that was so fast, I think we have time to do Sam. So Sam, right. eyes forward, eyes forward. Is everybody ready? Mm -hmm. All right, Mark. Who is Sam? <laughs> Does everyone know who this is? Yeah. Okay. If people. Those of us who know who it is, do you know who it is? I, it's a, no, I feel like I, I know who it is. Zoomed out. Je uh -oh. Jared, yeah. you know. I know who this is. Uh oh. Okay, Sam, let's do it. Will '90s kids remember this character? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is this a character associated with Nintendo? Yes. Yeah. Is it a first-party Nintendo character? No. No. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this a character that is this a character that has like so many games? No. Tons oh. of games. Oh, interesting. Um. Is this uh, a character that is from the 8-bit era? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Does this character uh, have box art? No. Oh, interesting. You're like interesting. Does it have box? Like, yeah. Like, are you asking like, if it appears on box art? Yeah. And then I was going to ask, does it look like the box art? <laughs> um, so, is this an arcade character? No. No. What? Wait. Doesn't have box. Oh. Okay. 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 Um, is this a character? Or should I be asking who I am? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, am I uh, uh, am I a humanoid character? Yeah. Yes. Humanoid. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Do I have a gun? No. no. Do I have a sword? No. No. Oh boy. <laughs> Can I even kill stuff? Yes. <laughs> With my feet? No. No. <laughs> um, do I do I have a wacky weapon of some sort? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. 
That really tickles. Why me. did I choose that? <laughs> <laughs> um, do I wear a hat? No. Oh, does he, Justin? Does he? You you have a significant head adornment. Yeah, as it sounds like a helmet. Yeah, that's pretty significant. You have okay. a significant head adornment. Uh, can I fight? Uh, well, you said it wasn't from a bunch of series. Oh my gosh! All right. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, 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 what? what? Or, or a bunch you of games. Don't, you don't appear in a bunch of games. Okay. All right. All right. Um, am I from a Japanese video game? Yes. Is it a Capcom game? Yes. All right. So am I one of the robot bosses? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do, do I have a scissors on my head? No. no. Uh, do I have a mohawk? No. no. Do I have a metal thing on my head? Yes. yes. Because I have because I'm made of metal. Like okay, am I metal man? Yes. yes. Wow. Well done. <laughs> I love that guy. You're right about the goofy weapons. The goofy weapons. Yeah. You both did so good. It's yeah. really hard. Do you, we we really don't have time, but do you want to know who you had? Yeah. yeah. Who, who did? Who was Justin going to get, Mark? All right, we got here. Let's see if you think you could have gotten Let's there. See how mean you were gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got there. I think. Maybe yeah. Well, the hat would have helped. Yeah. Yeah, the hat would have helped. <laughs> You're halfway there in your heart already. Uh, okay, many of you might be wondering why you got that raffle ticket at the end, at the beginning. Oh. Does anyone actually know why, why you got that? Everyone's like, oh yeah, I got a raffle ticket. All right, I'm going to show you what that's for. Oh boy. It's riveting. <laughs> and that's all the scoops he had. It's exciting. What if he just left in the car <laughs> He never returned. He kept threatening to. He kept Whoa. Threatening. Wow. It fits in your overhead compartment. It's nice. what, I wish it were just a little, if, it, if only it were a little bit bigger. Does, does it include the disc? I'm sure it's hard to see in the back. I'm sorry I hope, it's not I open bigger. the camera, you're just peeking over. This is the Assassin's Creed Odyssey Pantheon Edition, and it comes with a couple caveats. So don't get too excited. No, get, please be excited. Yeah. What are these caveats? There's multiple caveats. <laughs> it's yeah. just filled with cats. So first of all, <laughs> I mean... That would be awesome. This is like the super special edition of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Obviously, it's very big. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a rifle ticket, and if you have a plane ride home, and if and if you can't take it home, maybe you can negotiate with someone here. <laughs> the other, the other major caveat is that this includes uh, two very sizable statues of Alexios from the game, one of the villains. And there's an art book, and there's like a CD, Soundtrack. and then. Uh, uh, some sort of art print in there as well. All that stuff, but it does not include yeah. the game. The, the, the disc. <laughs> yeah. We kept the game. <laughs> we opened it up, we unboxed it, we kept the game. But the, So this whole thing is $220, so it's still, what, $160 value. So we're going to give that away. <laughs> right Minus now. depreciation. The statues yeah. are really cool, by the, the way. The statues actually are really it's cool. It's worth less than the moment you drive the box off the lot. Just, just a little less. All right, I'm shuffling mm -hmm. up the... Uh, Justin can verify. Yep, I'm, 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 I'm the auditor. Yeah, I'm doing well. Okay, I'm running. I'm going to pull out a raffle right. ticket. Everybody got their raffle tickets ready to That's go? That's exciting. Let's see. Let's try uh, five, three, two. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, this is you. Wow. <laughs> Got to verify. Verify the ticket. <laughs> da Damon, what would you have done if that were an attempt at fraud? How, if that had been a fraud attempt, what would you have done? We would have made him fight. We would have turned on him. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to Video Game 20 Questions. Yeah. Uh, I knew uh, we were going to have many uh, special guests in the audience today, uh, so I would like Matt Jones, overlord of the superfans, I, I reached out to him ahead and had him pick the 20 Questions game. Wow. He uh, is visiting us from Indiana today. That's a uh, hint. So, <laughs> whereabouts in Indiana? Uh, oh, right. oh man. Castleton for life. And I just realized I forgot to create an envelope for uh, Matt to deliver to me. So anyway, <laughs> I do know what game he picked. We don't, we don't get to have the ceremony of him delivering an envelope to me. <laughs> I forgot to put that together. It would have been fun. But anyway, Matt Jones picked the game. I approved it. So oh. let the questioning begin. OK. For the, for the final time, it's being retired. Is it really? Tonight. Really? I've threatened before, it's but I feel like... <laughs> uh, does your character wear a hat? Yes. <laughs> you. 
It's possible okay. to wear a hat. Mm -hmm. Possible to wear a hat. Hats confirmed. Mm -hmm. Was this game released during the tenure of Fran Mirabella's career to date? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, what, so that's 2000 to now? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, is this a current generation game? No. <sighs> okay. Uh, I can't think of any, any questions at all. Um, okay, so did it come out on the, on the PS3 generation of consoles, PS3 360? Yes. All right. Was it well received? Yes. Here we go. Uh, let's see, what do you think? Do you want to go to genre or do you want Ask to Ask if we've mentioned it on the genre show already. Oh, uh, we mentioned it already. Yeah, that's a good idea. Did we mention this game on the show? It's been a long show. Today? Yeah. No. Ever. <laughs> did we mention it ever, Damon? <laughs> It has not been mentioned today. All right, so a well-received last-gen last game gen. where you can wear a hat optionally. What's this game uh, made in Japan? No. Okay. Okay. Um, so probably Does this not game portable. have multiplayer? Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. It might have multiplayer. That's, <laughs> no, that's a good one. Do, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> do you shoot people with a gun-type device in this game? What? Just, just ask if it has yeah. guns. <laughs> No, no, you can stick with that. Yeah, is that a gun? Do you shoot people with a gun type device? No. No. See, now you're wondering if you shoot people with a non gun <laughs> well, type device. Well, I, I didn't want, like, if it's a bow, then yeah. That's why I don't say shoot people, because then we get thrown off by gun. It's like, oh, it's a bow. Okay, wait. So I, I need to recap. So it was last gen, not made in Japan, not mentioned on the show, well received game with no shooting. Probably not shooting. Yeah. Uh, you ready to. <laughs> Well, but, so wait, so the, the, ha the fact that it's a hat, do you, do you play as one character in this game? Mm, yes. Do you play as a single character? Yes. That's ten. Can you play as a woman? What? Yes. So you only play as one character. Mm -hmm. So Can you? That would be... Uh, I'm what? I'm asking, what you, like, if what? it's Metroid. What you, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your confusion? Well, because, I don't know, just the way it's phrased, it's like I'm you either play as a woman or a man. You, like, you, but the question was, can you play as a woman? Yes. Oh, but maybe you pick your character. Maybe that's awesome. ah. 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 What's a game where you pick your character? Oh, there's a lot from that generation. Oh, man, I'm going to suck at this so bad. I could, think you can I'm, play as a woman. I'm sure. terrible at this could game. I always we have been. It was down, mentioned it's like a console exclusive. Yeah, I think we, I agree with you on that. Um, is this a uh, is this PlayStation exclusive? No. Okay. Unlikely. <laughs> Is, is, is it a console? I should have asked if it was multi-platform. Do we even want to burn that? Do we not want to do that? I don't know. Um, I should have asked if it was multi-platform. That was dumb. It, it was, does this game, do you, do you level up in this game? Yes. Okay, you level up. This okay. is pretty much half the games in that generation at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, does no this guns. game have sequels? Yes. Okay. Uh, no closer. No closer. Well, well regarded, um, critically acclaimed. Yeah. What do we got here? Do you we narrow it down? Do you think is it helpful to know if you use swords? You slashing things? I mean, we're not shooting, so we're probably slashing if there's violence. It could but be punching and kicking. Could be punching and kicking, and we level up. All right. Does this have realistic graphics? No. Oh, I hate that question. It's 15. You hate that question? I do, because you never know what it means. Do you want to well, no, we, we talked about it at length last week. I know. <laughs> but you never reached a resolution. To Damon, it means that it's, it's cell shaded or Fortnite-y. <laughs> exactly. But, but I'm with Jared. Because uh, then it's like realistic graphics 10 years ago like are not today. You, that we wouldn't call this realistic, right? All right, so you're at 15 questions, five oh, wow. left. Do you want to like give the audience a chance to sort of like shout out yeah, some yeah. ideas to you? The answer being no, by the way. Like that's a really good yeah, like it's that, a, it's a cartoony game. I like that it's a well-regarded game that we didn't bring up for the game of the year mm -hmm. talks that we had here. I mean, that's got to be that, that's actually pretty significant. I'm gonna be honest. We've kind of screwed this up because yes. it could be like an adventure game. It could be anything. Yeah, <laughs> we have no idea what kind of game this is. So, in the audience, yeah, are there any ideas what this might be? Could be Portal. Well, you're not asking the questions. <laughs> but that's a good. That's a good question, though. <laughs> we, we can. But yeah, you can throw out ideas really for good. questions. But, but it's, it's, there's no guns. They're thinking Borderlands. Could, could be Portal. Could be Portal, but Portal has I a gun-like device. Graphics. Remember the gun-like device? See that comes in in Portal. That would be <laughs> a gun-like. It's it's, we mentioned it already. That's a good point. No, we didn't. Didn't mention we it. We did already. not mention it. It's not Portal. Portal on the show today. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, and it can't be Portal. We mentioned it was a gun-like device. So I wish we knew. 
the fact that you give him play as a woman is like notable, right? But I wish I knew if that's who your character was well, or if you could choose your character. Is this uh -huh. is this a first person shooter? No. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, with guns? Well, we know. Yeah. Well, I was just guns. thinking it could be Red Steel or something like that. Well, that had guns. Yeah. And that also had guns. Yeah, yeah that had guns. It's like, yeah. it was, <laughs> it's like yeah. half guns. Yeah. Do you fight monsters in this game? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Drakwe? Oh no, he I said mean, it's not Japanese. You, like level up, you level up. It's you not level Japanese. Up, so it's, not it's not Japanese. Japanese but they're fighting monsters. Fight monsters. Okay, it's not. I, I'm telling it's you, not Fallout. We're like it, this is Skyrim, except for the fact that it's come up on the show. Huh. Yeah. Did we bring up Skyrim? Yeah. Did we bring so, up Oblivion? Oblivion. Oh no. No. No, we didn't bring up Oblivion. We did talk about horse armor. That's correct. Mm -hmm. We didn't bring up Oblivion. No, we didn't bring What's up Oblivion. What's a smart way? Uh -oh. How many? We have three questions left. And also, it's, real, it's realistic. Left. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't think we're. Wow. Gonna this we can do this. We can do it. We. Uh, you guys came back like two weeks ago and hit it yeah. on twenty. Should we ask about an open world or if it's a fantasy? I game like open world. Or? Does yeah. this have an open world? Mm, don't no. a, don't ask us to define open world. No, no, no. This is no. not an open world. Game. Could this be like a? Are, uh, what about the like weird Spanish Castlevania? What? I would have, yes. Yeah, Jared. That's her. <laughs> No, no, the one, the, just the Castlevania it game. It was that picked was like, by a man from Indiana. Huh? Yeah. I already told you, it's not going to be a Chunsoft game. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the mainline Castlevania game, like the big one that came out. Oh, Lords that of Darkness? That was made, the one that was made in Spain. Lords of Darkness, is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah, the one with, with Dracula like, gets yeah. kicked out the window at the end or something. <laughs> a question and a guess is what you got. Left. Yeah. All, all right, right, all right, all right. All right, there we go. Um, what do we got? Do you want to ask the audience again? I, oh, I got there. one. Should we ask if it's a physical based game instead of a download? Because I'm thinking oh, of Summer of Arcade thing. Yeah, we really botched this. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we totally nailed it. Did this have a retail release? Yes. Oh, boy. Uh. <laughs> all, right. All, right. all right. All right. All right. Came so, on a so, disc. So, la last gen, not last made in Japan. Uh, you can play as a woman. You fight monsters. You fight monsters. You level up. Survival horror, but with no guns. What would that be? Um. Zombie, you had guns. What do we got uh, out what, there? Fatal Anything. Frame. Fatal Frame would be amazing. Mirror's yeah. Edge. Parasite Eve, somebody said. I don't think it would be questionable whether you play it as a woman in that game. Oh, it could be the, th and yeah, the third hesitated. birthday. See, like when the, you see him in person. You and use guns in third it's birthday. It's not open world. Yeah, guns. This is a game with a character creator. That's why the, play, the playable character. Well, you can put hats on, and you can, but you don't you have to have them. Oh, man, we, they're, well, this is still like a half of all video games made in that period. It does have multiplayer. But yeah, it's not like a point. big part of it, which is a good hint, right? Yeah, but still awesome that so that be, man. And has sequels. Monsters. You're that all welcome, the monsters, by yeah. the way, <laughs> at any time to help us out. I guess it is. Shall uh, I reveal right. the game? No, no, we definitely got to. Uh, I'm going to take How many Fable? do we have left? Two? No, no, you're out of questions. You have to guess. Could it be the We're Fables? out of, I thought we had one more. Yeah, but that's. Fable, <laughs> someone shouted out Fable, Fable 3. Fable 3, yeah. Fable 3 would be awesome. Has yes, guns. Fable 3 has guns. It doesn't Fable have multiplayer either. What about Nino Kuni? That's kind of open, though. That's no multiplayer. Minge yeah, no multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's a good thought. Where, where are we missing on Nintendo? Anything Zach there? and Wiki. Anything we, I mean, Muramasa? It's not Japanese. Not Japanese. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that are takes we going to get Dragon's this one down? Down. We just have to end it. I think it's not entertaining anymore. Because I'm yeah. feeling generous, I'll tell you that you haven't even gotten anywhere okay. close. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is generous of you. You want to reveal the game? Not even in the ballpark. That's All good right. to know. Wow, but we really love this. is a game that was this. important to me and to GameScoop for a certain period of time okay. is it, over is the is life. Is it Peggle? It's not Peggle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is it Boom Blocks? Uh, is Mark it? Medina, what game is it? All right, what do we got? Mmm. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> We would have, we would have never gotten that. For our that. friends <laughs> listening at home, it is Puzzle Quest. I love Puzzle okay. Quest. Yeah, I'm Puzzle Quest was great. I'm so mad because the moment you said it's not Japanese, I dropped the DS from my mind. I was like, well, okay, yeah. it's not yeah. going to be a DS. Who developed game then. Puzzle Quest? I think it was uh, an Australian developer. That's cool. No Probably kidding. By D3. By D3. Do you the, have a, yeah. a lot more agenda? What do you mean? What do you, we have more stuff planned? That's it, man. But first, I'm, but first, oh. but first, we have a special surprise. Oh my gosh. All right. I, I hear it coming. Uh, here comes the special surprise. This is a surprise to Damon. Yeah. Oh, man. Awesome. <laughs> here, I should get out of the way, maybe. You good? That's right. so cool. So, Damon, we thought, uh, because you've been hosting this show for 500 episodes, it's finally time that you, you know, 
get something for it. That's amazing. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, so really uh, nice. this is really nice, you guys. Thank yeah. Go check yeah. it out. Uh, for those of you who can't hear Damon, he's about to read his 500 goose cake. Oh, it's lovely. It was pretty awesome watching him get this cake ready. There was, there was an emergency chocolate repair that took place right before. So congratulations, Damon, on Goose 500. Yeah. And uh, Mary 500, you can open that now too. It's just, it's just a nice bottle of something brown for you. Yeah. Congratulations, Damon. You are a host that we all listened to before we were on the show. Yeah. We loved it, and uh, it's been an awesome run. Thank you. Uh, just hosting this show. The pleasure has been mine over the past 12 years. Uh, I think we've had a lot of fun today. So you know what? Let's meet up again in 12 years. All right. For episode 1,000. Mm -hmm. Same place, same time? Same time. Everybody? Yeah, sounds right, good. Cool. Uh, yeah, for, but seriously, though, thank you all to you know, everyone that I work with and helps me put the show together and, like, uh, puts up with me trying to wrangle everything and then of course thank you all to you for joining us here tonight uh, Obviously there wouldn't be a show without you guys uh, listening to it and watching to it. So for real. Thank you so much That's about it. So uh, that's all the scoops that we have for you this week uh, Definitely like stick around. I'm happy to stick around and uh, talk and chat with anyone for and you're gonna have to cut that cake for people Yeah, well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna cut the cake serve everyone. Yeah uh, What's this? Oh, store.ign.com uh, store is the uh, uh, URL that's being shown up behind us. And I think that's where other people that are watching this video and listening to this can get that shirt, the Omega Cop shirt. Yeah, yeah. There you that's go. awesome. Yeah. So I didn't All know right, that was right. going to be available. Yeah, that's I really posted cool. photos of it today, and everyone was like, where can I get that? So, yeah, good, that's good. Pretty cool. There you go. Yeah. Damon, really, I owe you so much. Thank you for yeah. having me. Thank you, Jared. It's been, uh, it's, uh, Game Scoop is the, one of my favorite things I do here every single week, and uh, I remember being so nervous, and uh, the, when I was first on the show, it wasn't a video show yet. It was just yeah, a podcast. Just, yeah, we just and, like, got in a room and talked for a while. Yeah, it was great, and I really The numbers are edible. Much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love how it's uh, Halloween-themed, too. Uh, well, it's that time of year. It's yeah. that Game Scoopy time of year. It's going to be time for Game Spook next Game week. Spook. Mm -hmm. I like that. Please be excited. All right, everybody, thank you so much. That's all the scoops we have Woo! for this week. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, everybody else. Uh, thank you to all of you for here tonight. Uh, my name is Damon. This is IGN Game Scoop, and we're out. <laughs>